In this video, I'm going to show you on how to create great Flutter Talks or how to improve in your future Flutter Talks. You might be prepping for one and you're not sure if it will go well. Fret not, I have three tips to improve your Flutter Talks which are bigger text, code prep and show only the good stuff. You will get from this Then we compile program and run. Thank you for watching. In the next video, we're going to build a self-driving car from scratch. To the level of this. Today, we have the biggest news in iPad since the iPad. Okay, maybe not. That's a little bit exaggerated. However, not only you will have people appreciating your talk, it will also boost your confidence in presenting which will contribute to your presentation success. So let's get started with the first one, bigger text. Most of the time, people watch tech talks on YouTube. However, 70% of the watch time of YouTube is from mobile watch time. Therefore, it makes sense that you should have your presentation visible for your mobile users. That means you should make your text bigger. 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 Come on. Bigger. Oh my god, that's too big. All right, that's just nice. And also, if you are using your IDE and simulator or emulator, make sure that the text is as big as possible. So currently, I have a counter app that I want to demo you guys, but as you can see, it is pretty small. Therefore, I need to make it bigger. So for Visual Studio Code, you can just press Command or Control plus and this will actually enlarge the text accordingly and then for your simulator text if people want to read it you can enlarge it manually by putting in different text styles so you can just add a headline for text style or headline to text style and then now people watching your tech talk about the counter app will be able to understand and read the sentence. And if you're watching this video in your current laptop or desktop, it will look something like this if you do not zoom in your text. But if you were to zoom it in and enlarge your text in your simulator or emulator, it is so much better for people who are watching your tech talk through their phones. Therefore, having bigger text makes better engagement. The next thing is to prep your code or code prep. When you want to do a demo, you should first enlarge all of the text as big as possible. And second, you should have your code that you want to show already in the VS Code. Why is that so? It's because if you were to type code, for example, you want to show the cross axis alignment for the column, and then you'll probably type in and this little awkward moment where you don't talk at all, it actually disrupts the momentum of your talk. So in order for you to make your talk much more in flow, what you can do is you can have your code already prepared in another file with the changes included. So you might be thinking I'm shortchanging the presentation. However, I feel that you are shortchanging the presentation to the audience if you do not have any some sort of talk or interaction in your online or offline talk. So that is one way for you to prep your code. And if you were to have prepped your code in advance, then if you were to forget or made a mistake in your, for example, main.dart, you can always refer to the file that you have prepped earlier. Also, you can create a snippet that types in all of the block of code that is needed for your presentation. Or if you want to be fanciful in terms of automating to show your code, what you can use is this plugin for VS Code that is called VS Code Typer. So this VS Code Typer is created by mainly Brad Morgan and also Alex Lakatos. And what this VS Code Typer do is it automates your typing in Visual Studio Code. 
which is great for live coding on stage. So I'm going to put this plugin in the link in the description. So as much as possible, don't type out the code. And if you really need to type out the code, you should talk about what code you are typing and what you will expect after you finish typing and changing the code. And talking about code, the last point to improve on your Flutter presentation or talks is to show the good stuff only. So if you were to show a huge block of code, the audience will get confused and might not catch what you are actually talking about. Therefore, breaking down this huge block of code into smaller and digestible chunks will help the audience understand. And if you are using this software that's called slides.com, you can actually focus on the specific line of code that you want to explain. So just cut out the unnecessary code as much as possible, such as boilerplate code. This is unless you want to talk about boilerplate code. So in summary, to improve your Flutter talks and presentation, you will need to enlarge and make bigger text. And the next thing is you want to do some preparation so that you have a smoother and less awkward presentation. And also it will save you from having mistakes. And lastly, show only the good stuff or the code that you are presenting because if you were to show a huge file or a huge block of code, I don't think the audience might be able to see it first and understand it second. So that's about it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want more of this kind of video, subscribe down below and comment down if you have any tips on making your Flutter talks or your future Flutter talks great. That's it. Stay safe and all the best. Bye-bye.